Welcome to Wargore TV, an episode 76. I'm your host, Adam, and today I'm going to be joined by these two wonderful gentlemen. On my left, I've got Ben. Hello. And on my right, I've got Andy. Hello. And we're going to be bringing you a game of Age of Sigma, 2,000 points from the General's Handbook 2023 through to 2024. But we can't go on any further without saying a huge thank you to all our patrons, sponsors and affiliates that you'll have seen on the intro on the way in. So a huge, huge, huge thank you to them. Round of applause, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, if you want to join them, feel free to have a look on the website. Follow the links below on the Patreon. Click the bell, subscribe, comment, anything you like. But still, let's tell you about tonight's show. We're going to have these two wonderful fine folk fight it out. Mm. And Andy is wearing a red hat, so that means you're going to be bringing... The corn again. The corn, yeah. The blades of corn. The blades of corn, yeah. That's it. So any anything spicy in there that we need to know about? Yeah, a little bit different from last time. We've dropped a unit of blood letters and we've brought Scarbrand to the party. Oh, good so old Scarbrand. Yeah, yeah. Can't fly, but he knows how to hit. He certainly he does. He does. All right. Meanwhile, what's going to take on this fire? I have Sylvanath with me today. Ooh, yes. down in the woods today. We're yeah. in for a big surprise. And uh, what have we got? I've got the big three. Big three are? Belthanos, mm. Durthu, and Alariel. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a spicy list. So it's bad. <laughs> it's yeah. bad. It's, <laughs> it is. it's a B-A-D. It's yeah. all coming right at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, then. So before we take a look at those armies a little bit closer, we're going to have to find out what scenario these two lovely gentlemen are going to be fighting it out over. Now, there is only one person that can tell us. Now, some say that he can vandalize and scratch your car just with his thoughts. And if it is you, I'll kill you. Hmm. But, all we know is he's called the Cleric. Limited resources. Reaping the treasures of Andor does not come without consequence. The journey is treacherous, even for the most skilled of warriors. Now deep into the continent, frostbitten and exhausted, your only hope lies in claiming the meltwater from sites of power. This arcane infused liquid holds healing properties your warriors desperately need. Siphon Meltwater. When a player gains control of an objective, they start to siphon meltwater from it. After scoring victory points, if the player whose turn it is controls an objective that they controlled at the end of their previous turn, they have siphoned all of the meltwater from that objective. For the rest of the battle, that player cannot control that objective. You score in this mission as such. Score one victory point if you control one objective. Another if you control two objectives. And a third if you control more. Score two victory points if you've completed your battle tactic this turn. Okay, this is my 1970 points worth of Blades of Corn. In the Reapers of Vengeance Slaughter Host. The Reapers of Vengeance uh, Slaughter Host allows you to get plus one to hit uh, against heroes, and every time a hero dies, you get one extra blood type. The General is the Bloodthirster of Unfettered Fury. His artifact of power is the Argath King of Blades, which turns off wards within three inches of him, and he has a command trait, Firebrands, which makes him a priest. Following on from that is the Slaughter Priest. He knows the prayers on Holy Flames and Bronze Flesh. And he also has a Nullstone adornment, the hand-carved Nullstone icon. Following that, we have Scarbrand himself. Nothing more to be said on him. And then following that, we have the Bloodmaster. He's also a priest. And he has the Killing Frenzy prayer. And on to the um, units now. We have uh, two units of six Blood Furies. Uh, no, sorry, Furies. We have a reinforced unit of Blood Letters. 
and then we have two units of 10 Blood Reavers. And finally, rounding off the list, we have a reinforced unit of Blood Crushers. So that comes in at 1970 points, uh, and it's um, 10 drops. And we have the Warlord Battalion, which has been taken for the extra prayer. And this is the Sylvanoff list for today. We are 1980 points, and we are in the Heartwood faction. My Season of War bonus is the Dwindling. So, to start the list off, we have Oariel, the Ever Queen. Her spell will be Regrowth, and she'll hopefully be doing lots of shenanigans with other spells around the board. We have the General for today, which is a Branch Witch. Her spell is Tree Song, and she has the command trait Spell Singer, so she'll be able to cast through the trees. We then have Big Daddy Durthu. He's got the artifact of power, the Greenwood Goidius, for the D3 extra attacks. And then over here we have Belthanos. He's here to be the Anvil, hopefully. And then onto the battle line, we have a unit of five Tree Revenants with the banner and the wave pipes to teleport around. We have a unit of ten Dryads. And also another unit of five tree revenants, both with banners and wave pipes. We are going for the spellcast and savant grand strategy, and my triumph is bloodthirsty. Okay, Corn turn one. Um, a fairly, I think, standard turn for Corn. Uh, the battle tactic we chose was surround and destroy, so we picked uh, two units of Furies and uh, a unit of Blood Reavers to do that. Uh, Roll for Primal. Uh, I didn't get one, but Ben did get one for yeah, both of us. Did. Um, so we got that. Uh, so hero phase, we went on to prayers, so we had three to do. Uh, the Slaughter Priest started. He started with uh, Blood Sacrifice on the Reavers, which he got. Uh, sacrificed two of them uh, to get as a blood tithe. Um, we then followed that up with the Unfettered Fury. He did, um, what do you call it, Bronze Flesh. He did Bronze Flesh onto the Blood Crushers, so they got plus one to their save, which was basically to sort of tool them up for later on in the uh, in the turn. Um, and then finally, um, the um, Blood Master, he went for Killer Instinct on the Blood Crushers. He failed it on the first roll, but he got it on the second, thankfully, and that allowed the Blood Crushers to move into the in the hero phase. Uh, so, yeah, not a bad hero phase. We got all the prayers off that we wanted. I got a, a CP. I don't know if you got your CP. No, I didn't get my no. CP. Uh, ben did get his. No, yeah. I didn't get mine uh, for the heroic action. Uh, so into movement phase. Uh, the Blood Crushers already moved in the hero phase, but we moved them again to get them just outside of nine. 
Um, yeah, it was cheeky. I was trying to redeploy my uh, my tree revs, but and I'd like to say that I purposely left them just outside of nine, but it was just by chance. <laughs> that's just how far they went, really, rather, rather than me thinking, oh yeah, me, Nick, leave them outside of nine, Andrew. Um, but they they were outside of nine. Um, just set them up for a, like a nine-inch charge later in the in the turn. Um, the Furies uh, on both flanks, they did uh, a run moved, they, they moved 12, but they got I think a four and a three on the run, so they jumped up to do surround and destroy on that side and also on that flank. Uh, Blood Reavers at the back, they just hung about for surround and destroy uh, and we shuffled forward with Scarbrand, the Reavers and the Bloodthirster um, and the big unit of Blood Letters, a little bit unsure what to do with them, they sort of ambled forward in the middle of the board. Um, so that was movement phase. Uh, oh, we did suffer a deadly check on the blood, uh, the blood letters, and they suffered uh, three mortal wounds. Uh, we saved one uh, with the ward save, um, but they did stumble a little bit getting over that hill. Uh, so on to charges, uh, and as you can see, the blood crushers, uh, they got their 3d6 charge, thanks to the unfettered fury. Uh, they went uh, charging in, uh, and I think they killed, uh, was it three on the charge? Yeah, they the killed three tree revs on three the charge. Three tree revs on the charge. Um, and then into combat they were roared, so I couldn't get the all out yeah. defence on them to, to get them up to a one up save effectively, but um, they made short work of the, the rest of the uh, the Reavers, finished, so I split them in attacks they, and put three they, into the Reavers. They killed them with the mortal wounds. Yeah, they killed them with they? the mortal wounds <laughs> on, the, uh, on the blades, yeah, yeah, so they were killed off. And then they did a little bit of chip damage onto our Lariel. Yeah, uh, just, just two just wounds. Just the two wounds. Yeah. Uh, braced themselves for the impact back uh, and didn't take a single wound. Classic, yeah. <laughs> My uh, number ones are prominent once again. <laughs> so yeah, the blood crushers are all the way over the other side of the board, but kind of there just to pin pin them in really and, and getting rid of a, a unit early on and get myself an extra blood tithe. Uh, so all in all, not a bad turn. Uh, so we've got the battle tactic for two. Uh, I do control one, uh, two, so I control more which gives me five points uh, for the turn. Silvaneth, turn one. Uh, Andy put me in quite a predicament charging them um, skull crushers straight in. Um, so I decided that my first battle tactic was going to be harness the spirit paths. So make a charge move and strike a fade or teleport and make a charge move. So that was that. Primal dice, we both didn't get any. Um, command points, I got one and... I got one too. Yeah, Andy got his. Uh, and then we went into magic. My branch witch cast the endless spell. So we got that one off. Um, she then cast mystic shield onto Durthu because she's a locust and she went second in the turn. Uh, Alario then tried to cast metamorphis and well successfully cast it on a 10 but Mr. Mr. Andy over there, very cunningly. Decided no. No thanks, not today. <laughs> yeah. Is it your blood tithe points just yeah, to auto dispel? Yeah, two blood to uh, automatically unbind. Yeah, so, yeah. That. so that didn't happen, which is quite annoying, because um, I could have done a fair amount of damage with that. Um, and she then cast Verdant Blessing and brought up a tree, slot bang in the middle of the table, playing for the double, um, but also Belfinos needed it, because... You rolled a one when trying to turn this tree into overgrown. Uh, so that didn't go off. Uh, and then she tried to cast Throwing the Vines on herself, but I also did not get that. Um, so because of that, Belfinos, who was here, jumped up over here. Um, he did that. Durthu walked up to here. The Dryads just stepped onto that objective. And then my tree revenants that were in this corner. And now we run that objective. Just over there. 
and then shooting, the aerial shot into the score brushes. I think she killed one. Yeah, you got sick of you out there for yeah. killed one. Dirt no shot, I think he did two wounds, two one. Charges, Belfanos got in, Dirthu got in. Uh, I got the raw off. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. I didn't get the raw off. off. Quite a big deal. Yeah, and I didn't get the fight last actually, did I? No, you didn't. But get I did get the stomp off. off. Yes. From Belfanos. Belfanos Two stomped. Wounds. Yeah. So a little pip damage. I went with Durfu first. He killed quite a few, but I couldn't strike and fade with him because he was like that far away from this one and that far away from the other one. So he was just slap bang in the middle. So that's why he's still there, if you're wondering. Uh, so luckily I charged with Belfanos as well. He charged in, he killed a couple and jumped over here to claim this objective because this piece is overgrown. And Alerial, I think the Beetle did a couple of damage. Talon had dwindled and didn't do anything. Uh, and then Andy, very happily, just passed his battle shot test as well. So uh, Yes, well I had to, well I nearly didn't take it because on a one, one of them would have come back, but on a six, I would have lost the last one. I decided just to inspire him presence and, yeah. uh, and not do it. But I think the only reason that blood crush is there is because I unbound that spell. Yeah, you know, if Matt Morphus had gone off, I could have easily done five wounds with that. Um, so yeah, doing that, so I'll this one, this one, and that far one. So I hold more, and I did my battle tactics, so that gives me a five point. Is it five, five? Um, yeah, we're gonna have to... Uh, Roll Make this roll off happen. Red for corn. Oh no. Oh. Should have done it in the thing. Oh, oh. same result. Um, all the way through Ben talking then, I've been trying to think what to do and I still don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I will, I'll take the turn I think. Okay, corn turn two. Um, almost a good turn in the end, a bit of a middling turn. Uh, battle tactic, we undernowed a little bit. Uh, sometimes these battle tactics are hard for corn, but we went with intimidate in the end, so I have more outside my territory than in. Uh, so that was a battle tactic. Primal, neither of us got a primal dice, uh, so it was onto the hero phase and went with my prayers as usual. A, not a great prayer casting uh, phase, to be honest with you. Uh, Suffered, suffered one mortal wound on the Slaughter Priest, he failed to get Blood Sacrifice off, um, ended up cutting himself but not getting a Blood Tithe for it, so we've got one wound there. Um, I actually never said that there, that was the only failure actually. Um, after that, if you just jump in behind this tree, uh, the Blood Master um, went for an extra pip of Rend on the Bloodthirsters um, with his prayer. Um, and I can't remember what it's called, but that's what he went for. And the um, Bloodthirster, he went for Killing Frenzy to make the blood um, blood um, letters move five inches in the hero phase, uh, just to get him a bit closer for the charge. Uh, hero phase done, uh, then it was just a case of trying to shuffle around, uh, trying to get Intimidate. Um, the Furies on this side kind of stayed where they were, we didn't want to jump onto that objective yet, so we just sort of hung around around here, around the overgrown, just in case we can't use that. This unit of Furies probably didn't need to but they jumped over and jumped onto this objective to claim that one. Uh, the blood letters shuffled forward, so did the blood master and so did the rest of the army really. Um, apart from the reavers this end, these just sort of stayed down this end. Um, the only unusual thing we did, well uh, the blood crusher, he retreated out and that was really more for the um, intimidate than anything really, just to keep that unit alive. Uh, so. Um, Movement phase done, there was no shooting, so we went straight into the charges. Uh, so we had a 3d6 charge off the blood letters, uh, which they made, and they went crashing in. Um, oh, I think uh, Dirthu redeployed, didn't he, before that? Yes. So he was in that mix to yeah, start he, with. Yeah, he, he redeployed from the uh, blood crusher retreating, retreating right. yeah. And I rolled a 6 for it, hence why he's shot all the way backwards, and for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> so we went in with the, uh, yeah, we went in with the blood letters. Um, I don't know. In my head, I wasn't really confident of killing him, but Ben said otherwise after the after the turn had finished. Anyway, 
Um, we didn't roll particularly well, uh, to be honest with you. We didn't get, I think we got five mortals through in total. I'm not even sure it was that. Yeah, Ma just five. Yeah, five mortal wounds, she, really. She'd already suffered one. She'd have suffered one, yeah. yeah. So we were hoping for a few more mortals, and it proved to be, even if we'd had one more six on the table, it would have been a lot of difference. But yes, um, the extra Pippa Ren, though, did help. So that put the uh, minus two rend. We got them down, and they tried, and they tried. But unfortunately, she has one wound left. And we know thankfully well not the lady lives <laughs> we all know what that means when uh, so you either kill her or you don't i think yeah. sometimes in this it, game and it was um, very close it wasn't was it? close i don't i think what well, i had 12 12 saves to me can yeah. i only pass three yeah the yeah, extra rend helped in that regard but the poor rolling like that, before yeah. probably cost me yeah it could be very costly at the end of the game but we'll see we'll see how it turns out um i don't think i've got anything i can really do to snipe her off prior to her doing a 2d6 heal in yeah. the forthcoming turn anyway there we go uh, so turn over uh, so uh, got the battle tactic um, we controlled one two but we didn't control more which gave me four points for the turn uh, so that puts me on to nine Sylvaneth turn two. Uh, was in quite a pickle there actually, with Alario only having one wound left. Um, so we were umming and ahhing about stuff to do, battle tactic wise. So I went for trespassers because my tree that I'd put slap bang in the way of Andy, he very kindly ran lots of stuff around. If you remember that one skull crusher that retreated, he's the target. I'm gonna kill him because he's next to a tree. Blood crusher. Blood Crusher. Blood Crusher. Blood Crusher, that's the one. I don't know. So many card names. Yeah, um, there was only one issue with this, is that Andy was going to try and do a rally. And luckily for me, he didn't get any. Not a single six. No. Nothing. So, we uh, started off with some spells. We got no primal magic again. Uh, Belfinos decided he didn't want a command point, so I only had my one command point because I used the rest trying to keep all aerial <laughs> um, So yeah, the Branch Witch tried to cast her Unleash Swarm of Spites, Mortal Wound Bomb spell, failed to go off. So alright, okay, okay. Uh, she then cast Trespasses on the tree because she's spell singer, so she can cast through trees. We got that off, so I've got extra rend around the centre tree. Alario then cast Metamorphis onto the Blood Crusher. Blood Crusher, that's right. Um, Andy rolled to see if it was affected by magic. It was, so I cast it on a nine. I rolled nine dice. All nine were mortal wounds, got them all off, and then Andy rolled. Uh, I think I six saved. Six sixes? Yeah, I think yeah. there was. He took three. No, he took three. He took three. Yeah, so, yeah, he, so he, he saved six. Save, because he was outside of eight and couldn't get a final yeah, ward. Yeah, so that was quite annoying because I was hoping I was going to do that then because then that would sprout up another tree for me. Um, then she tried to cast Throne of Vines and failed. And she tried to cast Verdant Blessing to bring up a tree and also failed. Uh, luckily though, I rolled my 2d6 heal and healed a <laughs> tremendous 9 wounds. So she went all the way back down. <laughs> um, and then movement. We decided Belfinos was going to jump up to here. He stayed 3 away from him, 3 away from these guys and 3 away from the Blood Crusher. <laughs> which redeployed all the way over here because these guys were in a line here, so we redeployed that way. And Durthu, who very kindly got the plus three to move and charge off the endless spell, just slowly wandered up to here, uh, getting ready to make the charge move. Dryads also pushed up here to try and stop the Furies coming onto this objective. Um, and then shooting. Oariel shot into the Blood Letters. I think she killed one, or two. Or three. I think it was three. Uh, yeah, yeah, got three. Yeah, three. Uh, Durthu shot into the blood letter. Uh, not the blood letter. Blood crusher. Blood crusher. That one. So many bloods. <laughs> <laughs> um, and killed him. Luckily. Battle tactic. He, he was ready for the charge, but I was hoping to get that done shooting anyway. 
uh, and then charge wise dredge charge into the furies death you into the reavers blood reavers blood, blood reavers again. blood again <laughs> wow uh, and belfanos charge into these blood letters um we got the strike last monstrous action here so they're fighting last Belfanos and Oariel between them both failed raw and stomp. Um, so that was that. We, as you can see, killed quite a few blood letters, not enough to get rid of the unit though. Uh, Durthu, absolute slap chop over there, killed a bunch of them, even though he did whiff every attack with his sword. <laughs> so <laughs> anything that did die there was just from his massive impale and talon. The Dryads killed three Furies, but they ran away. It looks like they're going for my uh, branch witch over there. Yeah, they 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 chose not to attack, and uh, they jumped over the top to uh, hopefully try and get the grand strategy later in the game. Yeah, because my grand strategy got to keep her alive. Um, objectives and points wise, so I got my uh, battle tactics. I killed the blood crusher. Point wise, I hold this one, this one from Belfanos still, and my tree revs stayed over there because we're trying to bait some people, try and pull them over. So they've stayed over there. Uh, well, it crucially means that now in this priority role, I'm not going to hold these three. So I'm going to have to do some shenanigans and grab hold of some different objectives. Yeah, and it should be noted, I, I burnt that one, uh, yeah. siphoned that one in my previous turn, so I don't have that one anymore. Yeah, but because Andy went first and he burnt that, it means I get hold one, hold two, hold more, because Andy technically doesn't control that now in this battle point. Uh, and my battle tactic for five, so that puts me on ten. Uh, one point ahead of Andy, uh, and a very decisive mm -hmm. priority it's roll coming one up. This one. I'm going to shout, "What about TV?" Red for oh, corn. it's the six. Oh, oh here we go. Sylvanoff turn three. <laughs> Sylvanoff, double turn into three. We needed it then, but it's not been the best double. It's been more of a tie up loose ends. Uh, so battle tactic, we went for surround and destroy. We picked the branch witch, the dryads, and the unit of tree riffs. Uh, primal dice wise, we both rolled primal dice this time, so we had two each. Uh, and then we went for a command point. Belfanos decided again he doesn't need them. Uh, Andy, did you get one on yours? Yeah, we both got yeah. one this time, yeah. Yeah, um, so then spells. Branch Witch tried to do a Mortal and Bomb spell. Um, she did it here onto the Furies and the Blood Reavers. Yeah, Blood Reavers. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she did a couple of damage to the Furies, nothing on the Reavers though. Um, we went for Metamorphosis off of Ariel. Uh, Andy stopped that using a primal dice. Yep. I went to heal Ariel with Regrowth. Andy stopped that with a primal dice as well. Mm -hmm. So Andy used both of his. I've still got my two. And then uh, Ariel went for Dwellers Below. Uh, cast it, but failed to do any damage with it uh, as per usual. Belfanos tapped this bit of terrain, switching it to Arcane. Arcane. To help Lario out. Um, and then we went into movement. Branch Witch just shuffled over here, just trying to stay out of line of sight, stay out of trouble for anything that might cause damage. The Dryads that were just here moved up because the Furies jumped back into the back of Durthu. Um, what was yes, it? That was the end of the hero phase. Um, yeah. So we, we did murder loss. We had one blood tithe and we used it. Uh, we rolled a five. So the Furies jumped back into. into yeah, Dirthu. so they, they were into combat with Durthu. So I couldn't run with the Dryads, but luckily I had enough movement on them to get them above halfway anyway. Um, and the Tree Revenants that were over here teleported just over here, nine inches away from the altar and staying within six of the board edge. Then I was thinking, right, okay, where is Alariel going? Because she can retreat and run and or still shoot and charge. So she was here, she jumped up over to here because there was a, an Alariel sized hole there. <laughs> uh, so she jumped onto there. Um, 
shot into this Bloodthirster, did this typical 6 damage, which is quite good. Um, Dirthu shot into the Reavers, killed them off. Um, charges, Aerial charged in. Belfinos stayed here with the Bloodletters. Dirthu was stuck in combat. Uh, sorry, when I moved up, you were. Uh, re redeployed with Sorry, Scarbrand, yeah, I redeployed didn't Scarbrand. I got a five on the redeploy. Yeah, that's why he's so close to the tree rev, so I'm not cheating. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so yeah, all that was happening. We got Oariel stomp off to do D6 damage. To, the... Oh yeah, there was like one Revo left, wasn't yeah, there? So yeah, that really killed yeah. that off. Dirthu hit the other Fury into next week. And Belfinos cleaned up the, old, the last of the Blood Letters and then struck and fade from either one of those to out of these trees to here just to stop anything jumping over try to get into the branch which um, does mean I'm a little bit pushed on the front and I have taken this objective off of Andy because he redeployed back with Scarbrand um, but either or I don't, I don't think if he'd if he'd have stayed I would have got that one but he's redeployed so I got this one tit for tat I, could, I knew I could only get the one but I got my battle tactic as well so that gives me just the three points a little bit, a little bit sketchy because Andy's got, he's got a, a few more models knock around, so we'll have to see what he can do in his turn three. Corn at turn three. Um, interesting turn. I feel like it went well, but I also feel like I maybe missed an opportunity. But um, it was okay. So battle tactic wise, we ummed and ahed a bit, um, and we went for drain power, which was one of the new ones. So that was for uh, a character with the nilstone adornment to uh, contest an objective. Uh, it was either between that or slay the sorcerer, either or. Um, we went for that one in the end. Hero phase, uh, we went for a blood sacrifice on the um, Sorcerer Priest who did it on himself, which he did get, but he cut himself away. He'd got three mortal wounds, so he's already up to four, so he's not much left of him. Uh, but he did get the blood sacrifice off. Um, over this way, we went for an interesting one, which we don't usually do, but the uh, Bloodthirst of Infected Fury uh, did Bloodbind. Um, and what that allows me to do, it was cast on Alarial and it allows them to basically pull them towards towards themselves, up to 8 inches. So he pulled Alarial into combat basically. I was just trying to negate any sort of redeploy or anything like that. Uh, and last prayer was from the Bloodmaster and he put Bronze Flesh onto Scarbrand, possibly for future turns rather than, than this one if we don't get the turn next time. Uh, so that was hero phase done. Uh, didn't spend any blood tithe, um, and then we went into movement phase. The furies over here, sort of just uh, basically just looking to get these objectives later in the game, but they didn't quite jump on it just yet. Uh, the reavers uh, shuffled round. Um, the slaughter priest jumped out of the garrison, just onto that objective. Uh, so we did actually contest that and win that one at that point. But then um, the reavers did redeploy, so they have that now. Uh, so that was movement, uh, Scarbrand sort of sneaked up a little bit. Um, shooting, there was nothing of note. I did finally get some shooting with the... Oh no, that's not true actually, yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, I was you did say, eight, totally, eight more wounds I totally or forgot about you? that, yes. <laughs> uh, I, for, I was focusing on this Bloodthirster. He, um, even with plus one to hit, he didn't get anything through. I think he got three, well one through, yeah. but he saved anyway. Um, but then um, Scarbrand made up for that with the Roar of Total Rage. Uh, five dice and a four up some mortal wound and got five mortal wounds into yeah. Lariel. So a good start on her. Um, so charges, uh, well, Scarbrand got in easy enough on his 3d6 charge. Um, and um, I'm thinking what we did, oh, um, he, um, Unfetted Fury roared and got that off. Uh, we didn't get any stomps though. Oh no, he can't stomp anyway. No, 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 we didn't get stomps didn't, there, yeah. didn't do anything there. Um, and you went finest hour, didn't you, on Lariel? Yeah, finest hour, try and protect her, and then in the off chance that something, well, he, Andy missed everything, and <laughs> I saved everything, uh, I went for Titanic Jewel against the Bloodthirst I injured earlier, so 
So I think I, this is probably where I overdid it a bit really, as I sometimes do with Scarbrand. Um, I, I was thinking of taking Scarbrand into Durthu and then splitting it, but I thought, no, I better make sure. Um, I know there's a chance Lara's going to come back, but you know, let's get a kill. We've been close a few times, so put everything into her. Um, and in the end, she only had five wounds going into combat. So as we know with Scarbrand, you know, he's one of his attacks, his eight mortal wounds when he's, uh, he's fully angry. Uh, but I actually rolled the six, so I think it was the first time I've ever rolled the six. Uh, got 16 mortal wounds and uh, we dropped her. And that was the end of the, end of the turn. Um, so in terms of scoring, we got the battle tactic, which was drain power. So sorry, I did forget to say the blood master jumped over, which was the, the key for the battle tactic. Uh, and we do control one, two and more. Uh, which puts me on to 14 points. I do burn some objectives now though. Uh, well, actually I burn, no, so I just burn the one, don't I? Burn that one there. Um, I think that's all we do burn, yep. Yeah. And now we're on to, um, um, I think we're on to a roll off. You carry on that, do that bit. What about? No, just say you just say what you were saying about, and now into a roll off. And now we're on going into a roll off for turn four. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to do the Wargar TV again. Wargar TV. Oh, oh, no, oh yes. Sylvanef, get it. We're going to take this. It, it's time. So, Sylvan of Turn 4, um, I had to go for a bit of a Hail Mary on this one. We uh, went for Primal Dice, uh, got two each again, so that was nice. Uh, went for Battle Tactic, Intimidate Invaders, a little bit risky. Um, quite shocked by losing all aerial, but I mean, when you get whipped into a Bloodthirster and then Scarbrand appears in, yeah, go sideways fast. Um, so yeah, we got the Primal Dice, Branch Witch cast Tree Song onto this tree. Um, had to use both Primal Dice though, because I really wanted it. Because Andy's on the halfway line, I've got to get over it and there's two Bloodthirsters there. Um, Endless Spell gave Belthanos plus three to move and charge. Um, got to the end of my hero phase and I was like, right. It's now or never. Got to bring Alarial back. So I rolled it, as you'll see on the video here. And yeah, we got her back. We're all good. Um, so she's back with eight wounds taken. Um, sitting happy here. She was over here, but we've moved her up a little bit. Uh, Belfinos ran up here. Dirthu moved up. Dirthu got a hell of a big charge wrapping around here because Belfinos was here. So we just just and so got in with Dothu, we got in with Belfinos. Dothu hit everything into Scarbrand, who was on finest hour, he had bronze yeah, he had flesh on, on him. And all that defence. Oh yeah, all that defence. And how many wounds did I do? Um two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a lot, I knew that, but I couldn't how it was. <laughs> yeah, the other Bloodthirster, though, uh, is also still here, but uh, I put a couple of shots into him. I think he's got five left on the other one. Um, and then Scarbrand decided that he wanted to kill Belfinos, so he did. Uh, <laughs> he did, and he did it well. Yeah, he, yeah. Um, he I uh, I forgot about the ward save yeah, being taken off when yeah. you're next to the Bloodthirster. Yeah, so the Bloodthirster's so got the... I got King of Blades, which turns off wards within three. Yeah, so, so I, I parked well Belfinos here thinking, that's yeah, okay, there's Belfinos, he's the anvil. He's going to sit there, he's going to tank all the attacks, Durfu's going to stab Scarbrand, and Belfinos will stab the other one. No, it's, it's gone complete opposite way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was an okay turn. I've scored one objective, two objective, and more for the purposes of this. And my battle tactic, even though I lost Belthanos, I've still got three over and only two in mine. So I have scored five points, which puts me on 18. 
Um, but I am in a very compromised position for Andy's turn four. Corn turn four, uh, interesting one. Um, battle tactic we went for was leave non standing, and we chose Scarbrand uh, to do that. Um, now, on the face of it, that may look quite good at the moment, but we'll get to that later on. But basically, the battle tactic is he has to be within three of um, an enemy unit, um, and then he has to fight in the combat phase, and then be no units within three at the end of it. Um, so, that was the battle tactic. Um, prayers, uh, well, we did. We basically thought we'll just throw everything into Durthu early on to try and get as much chip damage off him as possible. So the Slaughter Priest did Blood Boil and got the big six, um, six mortal wounds into Durthu. Um, at the end of the hero phase, uh, we didn't really do any more prayers. I think we kind of left it at that really. We didn't want to sort of do a prayer on him at the moment just in case he, he miscast it and, and rolled big on the, um, on the mortal wounds. So we spent three Blood Tithe to do the uh, Brascal Meteor, which again we put into Durthu. Um, I can't think what we got now. I think it was about three or four mortal wounds. No, it was, yeah, three or yeah, four mortal wounds. It, it was there. quite a few. It was quite yeah. a few. So we were getting closer to the 14 that we needed, uh, which was good. Uh, movement wise, uh, these Blood Reavers sort of just jumped a bit more further this way. Uh, the Furies uh, hanging out over this side just uh, tapped that objective to get that one for this turn. Um, uh, and the Blood Master started running that way. Um, and the Bloodthirst and Veti Fury sort of got within charge distance of Durthu as well. Uh, shooting, uh, I think we got a few, couple more wounds off uh, from um, Scarbrand on the, on the Bloodthirster. So he didn't really have a lot of wounds left by the time we got to combat. And uh, just the one. Just the one the wound one left, left, yes. And was, uh, I, I thought it was going to kill him before combat, but <laughs> yes. we, we still managed to get there somehow. Yeah, and, and that was the thing. I suppose I didn't want to kill him before combat because Scarbrand had to fight. So at first I thought, oh, he's great, great position to be in. But that's not quite how it panned out, unfortunately, thanks to Durthu's um, monstrous action. So yeah. um, I did my monster actions, did a roar, um, I did Titanic Duel, and then Durthu got off um, Fight Last, and he got yeah. into Scarbrand, which really messed up the battle tactic. Yeah, I'd, I'd seen a, a very close opportunity. I had two Bloodthirsters right there, and I knew that Scarbrand had to fight, not kill Durthu, but he had to at least fight. So I was like, I'll try and make him fight last, and... It went off, luckily, so yeah. it was close, went it to was, a dice roll. But no, you got it. Um, so the Bloodthirster um, went in and killed Durthu, uh, which was good from that regard, I guess. Uh, but unfortunately, Skybrand didn't uh, didn't fight in the combat phase, hence battle tactic fail. So that was a bit of a, my mistake, really. I, I totally forgot about the, the striking last. And if I thought ahead before I chose that battle tactic, then... Um, I probably would have chosen differently, but it is what it is. Um, so at the end of the turn, uh, I don't get the battle tactic, but I do get one, two and more, yeah. which puts us on to 17, plays 18, with the last turn of the, the game coming up, yeah. and another dice roll. Let's go for it. Well, go for, TV, come corn. on. Oh, Stop yes. Them um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take it, viewers, because scary times. Sylvan of turn five. What a turn indeed. <laughs> wow. Uh, was fucking through the battle tactics. Decided to go for into the maelstrom. So charge a hero and a battle line and make sure one of them is in combat at the end of my turn. Um, so, Oera went to cast Metamorphosis. Didn't get it. Oh, we got one primal dice each, which I used for that. Still didn't get it because Andy denied that. Yeah, yeah Andy denied that. Um, we went for mortal wound bomb spell yep, from my branch witch, which I did get. Uh, I think I did one mortal wound to the bloodthirster that was there. Yeah, 
and a couple to the little guy. No, the little guy shook it on the fire. Oh yes, um, sorry. I think Scar. Um, oh no, both Scarbrand and the Bloodmaster yeah. took it, and the Bloodthirster took it. Yeah. Yeah, they were like, no magic yeah. for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that went off. Uh, Oariel tried to cast, bring up a tree and throw in a vines, but didn't get either. Oh no, sorry. And she got Mystic Shield, which <laughs> should be over here. Um, so that's there. Movement. Um, Oariel just shimmied up a little bit here. Um, the tree revenants that were over there jumped over to here. The branch which walked through the trees out of here. Uh, I also made everything overgrown with Oariel's once per game ability. So that was that. Now, shooting. Oariel shot from here into the Bloodthirster. Did another six wounds, but Andy's just and so recovered a few back, so yeah. he's still in the game, he's there. Um, we brought oh. up Dryads. Oh, yeah, sorry. I brought a bunch of Dryads at the end of the movement phase uh, with Oariel. 20 Shh. sat right there because extra battle line for the charge. He should be said as well, sorry, just to go back a little bit. Um, movement shenanigans, not quite in the movement phase, but we did do Murderlust three times. Um, we did it with the Blood Reavers. Um, we did it with the Bloodthirster, he really got a one inch, which didn't matter, but then Scarbrand got a five. Oh, and yeah. That was really just to try and um, limit the um, the battle yeah. tactic for the charges. So we Yeah, Scarbrand, there were some dryads here. Scarbrand got them into combat so they couldn't charge. Um, so, yeah, our aerial shot, we had all that. So, we set up for the charge. We just decided to go with a dr big unit of 20 dryads. Rolled it, they got an eight, they're nine inches away. I was like, ah, oh, it's risky. First mm. roll. I'll let, it, I'll let it go. I'll save my command point. Came over to Oariel. She was three inches away from my little guy here. She got in that perfectly fine. Um, in hindsight, I'm thinking I should have actually put her into the Bloodthirsters. Because yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't have killed him. <laughs> um, the tree revs over here charged into the Furies. And I left my branch switch there because I was fairly confident that everyone was going to stay alive. Now... Went with the Dryads and the Scarbrand first. They tickled him. And then Andy went, alright, I'm going to go with the Furies. And then just walked away from my tree revs. <laughs> which I completely <laughs> forgot about. Yeah. <laughs> Crafty I, old corn over I there. Did, I did keep quiet, but then I thought I did get strike last on me in the last turn. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept yeah, quiet. But uh, yeah, it, it was a very good move. <laughs> um, it just left me stood here trying to pick up my draw for yeah, a so while. Yeah, so the Furies can retreat rather than attack when yeah. it's their turn to pick. Which left Oariel to not kill um, a six wound model that only had two wounds left. <laughs> uh, she stomped him and then went, oh god damn it, and struck and fade over to here just to protect the branch witch for any grand strat shenanigans. The dryads are still there because I didn't really re reroll, uh, <laughs> which, which means I failed my battle tactic and I have one objective. <laughs> I scored one point. <laughs> this is a very close <laughs> game. on turn five interesting turn what a turn um so what did we need to do well we needed we knew we needed five points we had to get five points somehow we kind of knew we had the objectives we knew we were going to get one two more so it wasn't really a concern there the concern was what battle tactic we were going to do it was between two we were going to do lead into the maelstrom possibly summoning some bloodhound uh, flesh hounds or um have a unit kill eight or more uh, models, uh, one of the blood, um, one of the blades of corn battle tactics. So in the end, we decided to go with that. So we picked Scarbrand, so we had to kill eight or more of the um, dryads. That's right, isn't it? We yeah, had to kill eight yeah. or more of the dryads. Uh, so we started off the turn. We didn't really do a lot of prayers. Just got bronze flesh off. It didn't really make too much difference to the outcome. Um, and we, but we did spend one blood tithe uh, to murder lust Scarbrand. He got one inch movement. Um, that was really just so I didn't have to do a move in the movement phase and then they could redeploy. So we were eight inches away. Um, shooting, he did. He had two attacks because he's not really that angry. He's not really taken a lot of wounds this game, Scarbrand, weirdly. Um, not, not been able to touch him. No, he hasn't, <laughs> no. Uh, so he, he had two attacks. Uh, so he sniped off one of the um, dryads. So that was one down, seven to go. Um, 
which left him with an 8 inch charge on 3d6 which he rolled and he got we got in with a 10 I think 10 or 11 so we were in easily um, but so we had the uh, he has two attacks of Scarbrand he has the uh, the mortal wound one which is one dice and because he has taken only three wounds it was on a four up we didn't get that so we still needed to kill another seven uh, we failed stomp we got a one on that so we didn't yeah. get any from that so we still needed another seven um, so he was relying on uh, the uh, the other axe slaughter he had five attacks I all out defense and all out defense minus uh, we did one to hit minus and wound one as to well. hit and wound well thankfully we got through I think we got through with three yeah uh, we got through with three so one save one save from Ben and he would have been all right one six but thankfully he didn't get any no and not this um, time we got the uh, we got the battle tactic we managed to slay 10 altogether was it in the end yeah, yeah so 10 altogether so. so we got the battle tactic which meant we got the five we had one two and score more so and the battle tactic so it gave us five points which puts me on to corn onto 22 points to ben's 19. however we do need to add on the grand strategies um i didn't get mine mine was slay the sorcerer um I have slayed Al Ar Al Ariel. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> once. countless times. Well, it feels like well, only once, but it feels yeah. like twenty million times. Um, she has died, but she's come back. But I didn't get the other the other wizard. No. Um, so I didn't get my grand strategy. Um, ben. I do get mine, which is spellcast and savant. The branch which is still alive, which takes us to twenty two twenty two. Now, we've read the book. And it, first tiebreaker is battle tactics, and I scored four battle tactics. I dropped one, and Andy and I scored four as well. So right, we're tied okay. on that. <laughs> so then it goes two grand strategies, which I got, and Andy never. So Sylvanuf win on a minor victory, and on that note, we'll head to conclusion. Conclusion time, folks. Well, wow, that's that's a first. I was watching from the sides and I was like, oh my god, I, I was, oh, I, I don't even know how it, you two feel, no, but... It was very to and fro, there, was, there was. was moments I thought it had gone and then it came back and I'm sure Andy felt the oh, same. Oh yeah, I'm exhausted, I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> we've, we've been here for like five hours, <laughs> <laughs> this has been the longest thing ever. Andy was meant to be home days ago, oh, yeah. yeah that's it, yeah. In He's in big, big trouble, yeah, it's Scarbrand, nothing compared to his missus at home. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is the end of him now, he's gonna. He's just going to be a blood tithe, aren't you? That's all you are mate, nothing left. Um, yeah. And in that, I was watching it, I'm like, oh, well, that's going to go there, and that's going to go there. But yeah, that moment when it went 22 22, and I was like, uh, well, now what? And yeah, and now I'm flicking through and I'm thinking, Battle Tactics. And I looked, and I was like, yeah, oh, you dropped one. Oh, you dropped one. Yeah, it was like, yeah, oh, oh my thing. God. And and then it's like, right, well, Grant, well, both, came down to. Both dropped it with what, sneaky little things as well, though. Yeah. Dirthu doing the strike last and the yeah. Furies. And then the Furies being away. sneaky. Yeah, so it was all it. sneaky, sneaky, it sneaky. But St stuff you don't expect, you know. From two nice yeah. people, <laughs> but truly they're they're horrible. Dag and that, that's, that's were out. oh, they they were like they were both like. I could win. I, this is it. I could do it. And yeah, and one of them did. Yeah, yeah just. Yeah, yeah the still. I mean, oh. the grand strat, I always knew it felt, even from turn two, that the grand strat I was never really going to get. It's always tough this one to do. Um, yeah. And obviously, Alariel coming back, you've got to kill her twice. And I killed her once, but even then, you've got another wizard to get. And just trying just to, to nothing really to snipe him out with, with corn. There is a few tricks, but nothing to do that amount of damage. So I always knew I was kind of a little bit three points down to some degree, right. but I took it as close as I could. You did, you did, in, you took him all the way to the wire. I mean, the scenario itself makes it exciting. It's I mean, so I hate that, this one, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I hate trying to keep track of objectives and who scored what, and oh, you were on this, and I was on it, then you were and on you it. You burned it, I've taken it, it off it's you. It's not and mine anymore, and it's like, oh. oh. Oh, that's that's the hardest part. <laughs> yeah, that kept me in the game a little bit, in a way, because I did have more later on in the game yeah, where you sort of lost them early on, so that was sort of making up for the grand strat yeah. to some degree, just sort of getting them extra yeah. on the object. Always scoring one, scoring two, yeah. scoring more, dragged you yeah. back into it to nip yeah. you back in, but dare, dare I ask, does Korn have a, a model of the match? I think Scarbrand. I yeah. think it has to be, really. Um, he uh, killed Belfanos, uh, he killed Durthu. Uh, and he got the battle tactic at the end, killing eight, and he, and he deleted another unit as well. And essentially, he? So if he'd not. 
been told to strike last, and, he'd yeah. have had the winning <laughs> battle will, yeah, tactic. I mean, he would have won the game for me yeah, if he hadn't struck yeah. last. He would have been, oh. yeah, have been there. So does that make Durthu the man of the match <laughs> in Sylvan Earth? Uh, I want to say so. But Very close MVP second, but I'm going to give it to Alario. The utility of the spells, the being able to hold hold people up and be the blockade that I needed her to do, like when she got killed, so that Durf and Belfnos didn't get killed straight away, because I knew she was going to come back. Well, I didn't know. You but didn't know, but <laughs> I yeah. rolled it. Andy cried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, well, that, that was utterly amazing to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. These guys are exhausted. Yeah. They're going to go into therapy now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but if you did and you'd like to see more of this, by all means, have a look at the website. Go check out some of the other reports that we've done. You know, come and see us again. Like, subscribe, click the bell. Um, and look at the tournaments we're doing. Comment. See what other games that you want us to play, other scenarios you want us to do. But... Until next time, so these guys can just go collapse and, and Andy can go be a... Yeah, yeah, a, yeah go, trouble, go in trouble. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, with, with corn. Um, yeah, that's it. And, more, and blood all, will, all, more blood will flow. More blood will flow, and all you're going to hear is, and you didn't even win. Yeah, 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 that, <laughs> more, more blood will flow, more trees will grow. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. And on that bombshell, <laughs> until next time, people, bye! bye.